we're going to have to go slightly out of order from the textbook here. The textbook, for whatever reason, does not teach students to take the derivative of exponential functions until chapter seven. The problem with that is that the derivative of the exponential function e to the x is one of the most important derivatives in all of calculus. Anybody who has taken differential calculus needs to know that derivative. And there are majors that require calculus one, but not calculus two. So a student in that major would learn to take derivatives, but would not learn to take the derivative of e to the x, because we don't cover chapter seven until calculus two. So it's to ensure that everybody who's taken our differential calculus course knows this important derivative that we're going to do things slightly out of order, or very out of order, I suppose. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. This function has the property that it is its own derivative. And that comes from the way that Euler's constant e is defined. Suppose I ask you, for the limit as h approaches zero of a to the power of h minus one divided by h. Well, you would probably say correctly that there is no one answer to this question. This limit depends on what this constant A is. By definition, E is the number such that the limit as h approaches zero of e to the h minus one divided by h equals one. And how does this definition of Euler's number give us this derivative. Now let's go back to the definition of the derivative. F of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. We'll do a little algebra with this. e to the x plus h is e to the x times e to the h. And we see an e to the x and another e to the x. We'll pull e to the x out. 
And now this e to the h minus one should look familiar as h is going to zero. This is going to one. And this limit is e to the x times one, which is e to the x. In the next video, we'll do some examples with this derivative. Um, you should make memorizing this a priority. You should also notice that this is not true for arbitrary exponential functions. For example, the derivative of 2 to the x is not itself. This is a special property that e to the x has. We'll learn to differentiate other power functions shortly.